Hello YouTube and thank you for watching another Electric Tech TV video. In this video I'll be showing you how to make a lower thirds on Photoshop. Once you're finished it should look something like this. So how do you do it? Well open up Photoshop, go to file and then new, choose custom and choose the width to be 1920 and the height to be 1080. Choose the background to be transparent and then click OK. So once you've done that, you want to click on the color chooser and then you want to choose gray and then get the paint bucket and paste gray on it. So after that, click the new layer tool and make a new layer. Then you want to go down and choose a rectangle tool. You want to go about to the bottom of the page, leaving a gap at the bottom, and you want to go more than halfway across with the rectangle tool, then let go. Then you want to choose the colour that you use, but a lighter colour than your colour scheme normally is. So my colour scheme is sort of like darkish blue, so I'll choose a light blue. Then I'll choose the paint bucket, and then if this pops up, just click OK, then click paste and then it will go blue. So then you want to choose a darker colour than you normally use, so I'll choose a really dark blue. Then go right click on that layer, blending options, gradient overlay, click that, then click this box and then choose the transparent one. Then click OK and then you want to set the angle to zero, so it starts dark one end and gets lighter then just leave the options as default and click OK. After you've done that, you want to get the rectangle tool again and create another rectangle. Then click this one up here, click the outside of the shape and turn it round so it gets to the corner of the first rectangle. Make sure it goes all the way down so it's like this. Then you want to get the paint tool paint brush tool and click on it and then click OK. Then you get the magic wand tool and select it so that whole box is selected. Then you want to choose the first rectangle which is this one here and then click delete. Then click select, deselect and then you can delete this box. So now you can see it's made a line through it like this. I find that's the easiest way of making that line. So then what you want to do is right click on the rectangle and go options and then choose drop shadow. You want to put the opacity to about 60, the distance to about 10 and then click OK. Then you want to create a new layer and choose the rectangle tool again. You want to make this rectangle square so it will be a square not a rectangle and then let go. So I'm going to choose this one to be white you want to make sure that it's bigger than the first rectangle in terms of height and then click the outside and you can rotate it round. So it's rotated, it doesn't really matter how much, I'm going to do it this much. Then click OK. Then you want to right click on that and go duplicate layer and click OK. Then you can click on it and you can go flip horizontally. And then you can move it around a little bit so it looks like a star. Then you want to choose the same colours as you used for the first one, so I'll choose a light blue and then I'll go back and I'll choose a dark blue. So right click, blending options, gradient overlay, just the same as before and choose the angle to be 90 and opacity probably put it at about 80, then click OK then go to the first one of these squares, go blending options and you want to choose drop shadow 
and you want to choose the opacity to be about 60 and then you want to do inner glow and choose black for the inner glow or whatever color you want to use and then choose the distance so you, it comes in like this but you can still see some white around the edge then you want to make the opacity really light so you can just see it getting darker so probably put it at about 30 now then you can click OK then go to the first one the second one sorry and go drop shadow you want to put that to about 60 actually no we'll put that one at about 80 and then choose yep that's it you don't choose anything else and click OK. Then what you want to do is you want to get the logo that you have for your channel or whatever you're using this for and then just drag it into the Photoshop and then zoom in on this box like this and then take your logo hold shift so it will keep the right sizes and make it so it fits in and you can still see it quite well so if you can get all the corners to touch one of the sides so you can see all the corners fit perfectly that means it's in the middle click the tick and then right click on this go blending options and choose outer glow put the opacity to 100% I'm going to choose white and I'm going to choose the distance to be 30 then click OK. Then you can zoom out again. And you can see already it's looking quite good. So then what you want to do is create another layer and then choose the text tool and click where you want the text to go and then type whatever your video is called. I'll just call mine how to Photoshop. then you can move the text and then you want to get the, sl the square selection tool and put it around around this bit here and then you want to go and select this layer your text choose the mouse tool and then click this one which that will bring it right in the middle then you can click deselect Then you want to right click, go blending options and choose drop shadow. This really helps to make it easier to read. If you want to, you can put your name or saying produced by whatever your YouTube channel is. You could have another bit of text there saying that, but you don't have to. Then what you can do is click the I button on the gray bit so the grey background goes. The grey background was only really there to help see what the final thing would look like. And then you can edit that picture into your... Well, actually, if you save it, if you go File, Save As, and then make sure you save it as a PNG. And then you can just click Save. And then once that's saved, it will look like this. So from that, you can use that picture in your videos or whatever you want. And then, yeah, it will look something like this. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like me to make any other Photoshop tutorials or demonstrations, please just comment in the description. This whole Photoshop file is available to download, so if you get stuck, you can just refer back to this, or you can use my own straight as it is. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.